Howdy folks, it's a new tool thing today, but again, you know me, I always try to find the innovative or something different, and we, we found something different today for you. And it's something that you and I, we, we're all concerned about it if we're into woodworking, but also into any kind of building and construction and everything from questionable problems with ceilings and drywall. Uh, I was even checking on 3D printers this morning to see if I could run some tests with this because it's kind of almost like a you know piece of scientific equipment here and it's really easy. It's handheld, it's easy to use. We're going to get into it and talk about it right now. Yeah, so Top Test sent this over to us and it is not expensive at all. It's actually a really neat tool. It's something that I needed years ago for some of my wood projects and it didn't even occur to me that you could buy one for wow well, this low price i guess the technology has caught up with it or something but this is a moisture meter it's sort of it's simple to use and it can get complicated really quickly because there are different modes of different woods that you're going to be looking for for different amounts of moisture but also you can do drywall uh, you can check a ceiling if you've got if you think you have moisture problems coming through around like ac units and stuff but you can also uh, check uh, different materials. And I've got a piece of cork here, just, I don't know. Yeah, uh, I have no idea. Also have cardboard. Cardboard's really funny. It sucks up moisture like there's no tomorrow. And also tried my PLA, which is my for my filaments for my 3D printers, but also tried some lumber. And I'm gonna try a piece of wood here that's been just sitting in the garage here, but I'm also gonna go, I store some uh, wood out in the barn. so. And I also bought a brand new 2x4 from Home Depot. So we're going to check the moisture on all this stuff. So here it is, the TS630. It's not an expensive uh, device by any means, but if you're a woodworker especially, and you have certain types of projects, or you're into even concrete and construction work, this is something that, you know, it's kind of like it's handy to have for checking out moisture, but this is specifically, of course, sold as a wood moisture meter, but it also uses other building materials can be involved, such as gypsum, that sort of thing, which, uh, yeah, you know, measuring moisture can be important. It has a uh, Celsius and Fahrenheit scale for the temperature, because it will read the ambient temperature around you while you're doing it. A power on button, and you're going to see a mode button right here on this side. Now, the H here is like a hold button, so we're not going to worry too much about holding because really all we want to do is get a quick reading and just say, okay, this is it. The mode meter here on the M, right here on this side, that depends on the type. It sort of like gives you a scale to moisture, so it's going to tell you uh, the moisture content, but you need to set your scale so that because like if you're doing pine, you want to be on B as opposed to A, that sort of thing. So when you first fire this guy up, you have a nice little back green screen right now, of course, shows low moisture because we're not, well, <laughs> we're not reading anything right now. But if you're going to do pine, you would set, the, you'd hit the M switch and bring it up so that you have uh, B as opposed to A. And you can go all the way up to G. It depends on the material you're measuring. And the book will cover all that. So you get your little book right here and you can look up the scales and it's going to give you reference to each and every setting that you might need for the type of material that you're working with. So. In this case, we're just going to work with this piece of lumber. I'm not even sure. I think this is a hardwood, probably from uh, God knows where it came from. So um, we'll just go with the A, for example. And the next thing you're going to do is you pull the top off. And underneath it is two of these uh, little pointies, real nice and sharp. So yeah, do this on your work where you won't ever see it because you are going to stab into the wood a little bit to get a a moisture reading so see if we can do this this way or something so you guys can get a good look at it push it into the lumber and then you can see we've got about 12.6 percent uh, moisture content in there right now and that's great to know because if you're into construction especially like boat building or anything like that or even furniture and stuff a lot of times when you get a, a you know a new piece of wood in you're going to wonder what that is so just for fun and giggles let's try a piece of uh, cork because this has been laying around the garage forever, and I'm just kind of curious as to whether it has gathered much moisture. And you can see here, it's showing absolutely no reading at all. So there's really no moisture in the cork. Cardboard, on the other hand, is really funny. Cardboard, same thing. It absorbs moisture like crazy. Let's see if I can get this uh, in my hands without, yeah. Okay, so there, we'll jab the cardboard. Look at that, 15.6%. That cardboard is actually absorbing more moisture than that piece of lumber we've got. Uh, 
Let's get that 2x4. Okay, so here's our 2x4 from Home Depot. Uh, let's see, how can I, yeah, okay, and we'll do it this way. And we're already looking at, not bad really, 11.3% uh, rating. But this is pine, and we're not really set for the right thing, so I'm going to hit the M here. And we're now on B. So we're now set to actually measure pine, which is what this is. Now let's take the reading and see if there's any much of a difference. Well, not really. I mean, 10.5%. So old Home Depot sold me a pretty good piece of board here, apparently. Yeah. The uh, moisture meter is going to help you out, especially, like I said, on these certain types of wood projects and things where you need to check what's coming in the door. Because what they tell you and what it is can be two different things. Also, if you're storing wood, I'm going to bring a piece of wood that I store in here from the barn and just see if there's a, if it's picked up moisture. Yeah, so this is an old piece of yellow pine, uh, very southern wood, it's sort of hardwood like, and this has been stored out in the barn. So power up, and we'll go to B because it is pine, and we'll just put our two probes in there and see. As you can see, it's got 14.7%, 14, 14.6%, 14 yeah, it's picked up some moisture over the years. It has, it was probably 10 when it came in the door, but it's, a, it's, it's gaining moisture because it's sitting out in my barn where there's no, you know, there's no condition, there's nothing out there to help keep it dry or anything. It's just sitting up high, but it's still picking up moisture, and this meter is going to tell you that. Okay, the, uh, <clears throat> the final button I didn't cover on this was the little red button. And it's a minimum uh, for value or maximum for value setting that you can put on there. But that's, again, like I said, sort of like the hold button for me. It was like, that's irrelevant. When I want a reading, I just want to get a reading, find out what's going on. Uh, years ago, when I was boat building a little bit, uh, some of the things I used to have to watch for was lumber coming in the door that was above 9%. In other words, everything I have here today failed, <laughs> you know, but, but I don't have any boat lumber laying around. And really, there is certain uh, tolerances, I guess, uh, when, when it comes to construction with materials with wood. But if you know the guidelines to those materials, then something like having a moisture meter, you can check it really quickly. But if you have a question, like say you've got a ceiling and it seems kind of dampish all the time you're kind of concerned as you know whether something's going on or not you can take a moisture meter like this to the and actually take a reading and report that to uh, the boss you know and explain that there is a problem or there isn't a problem uh, depending on whether it's an office environment or a build, commercial building or you know maybe at home you know, like, you know. but uh, having a moisture meter around is pretty cool and we'll shut this guy off now uh, it's three Three AAA batteries that is included with the package, and you also get an extra spare set of these little pointy tippies, so that when these wear down or get bad enough, you can replace these. Nice end comes with a little wrench, so you can you know take them off and replace them. The um, meter is not expensive. That's the whole thing. This thing is, I think, right now the retail somewhere is around twenty-five dollars. So it's not an expensive material. But if you look at the link below that we're going to provide, we're going to try to get you a little discount coupon, so it'd be less than that, anyways. Uh, if you're interested in a moisture meter for around the wood, you know, around your lumber, or you want to see what's going. If you're storing lumber, you may want to take a reading, you know, month to month, winter, summer, whatever, and just see what's going on, because it's sometimes it's something like this. It's good to know, you know, and the simplicity of it, you know, there's a nice little meter like that. Are you kidding me? It just so happens, and you probably already saw that, but uh, yeah, we have more than one of these. So what are we doing with the second one? <laughs> oh, I love it, yes. We're gonna give one out. Yes, we're giving one away to viewers. So now, how do we do this? Okay, to, in, to get in the contest to win a moisture meter, you need to enter your name and address, <laughs> but you're gonna have to go to ctrewards at gmx.com and just enter in the line, the subject line of your email. We'll just write, uh, let's let's come up with a fun one today, okay? Wood, yeah, W-O-O-D. <laughs> and then in the body of the email, just your name and address, that's all. We'll make up tickets, we'll draw from the uh, cowboy hat or something, and one of the viewers, one of you guys, will get a chance to have one of these shipped right to the door. Yep, you'll get yourself a moisture meter. And that's a pretty cool little prize, I think, right there for today. Yes, yeah, I love giving stuff away and we've had some problems with it. We will discuss that maybe down the road later. Uh, next week, we will also be looking at another type of meter, which I've got laying here, which we will come back to. 
But just for time and for Thursday today, I wanted to cover this moisture meter with you because uh, if you're a woodworker, do-it-yourself kind of guy, and around construction materials, same thing around building materials, a lot of time moisture is a question. It will come up. And if you have one of these little gadgets right here, you can just stab it, get your reading, you know, yeah, it's it's a pretty cool little item and not expensive. So, wow, definitely worth having. Guys, girls, thank you so much for watching Coffee and Tools. Yeah, we're calling, we're going to call us a short one today. Yeah. Thank you so much for, for dialing in and have a look at us today. And, uh, yeah, get on that contest. Uh, I will put a link in the description below to what that email is just in case you didn't catch it. And meantime, uh, man, please like, share, subscribe, and ring the notice bell. And more prizes coming out, yes, over and out. <laughs>